All right, so you're thinking about moving down to Costa Rica, living in Costa Rica, making a life in Costa Rica, and you think you're the exception to the rule. We're going to talk all about exceptions to the rule, and if you're one of them, in a minute. Hey guys, I'm Michael Allen for TravelCostaRicanow.com. TravelCostaRicanow.com is a travel agency, so go to TravelCostaRicanow.com. Fill out the four-minute form. You'll be that much closer to the vacation of a lifetime. We're like you, having best friends who live in Costa Rica, who know Costa Rica, totally hooking up your Costa Rica vacation. Hey, man, please subscribe. YouTube doesn't care. I do. It does help. But you know what? They're killing me. I'm telling you, they've been tanking my videos for about two months. The, algorithms is not my, the algorithm is not my friend. I don't know what they're doing, but they're doing something. But anyway, want to see videos as we put them up and beat, help me beat the algorithm? Hit the notification bell. I would totally appreciate it. I got the big cup for this one. The big cup. Um, couple mini announcements. Uh, so... <laughs> I've talked about this in some videos. Remember that digital nomad uh, category that you could become a resident for a year doing the digital nomad route? I'm not gonna get into it. Got that video, you wanna see it. Maybe I'll put the link in the description, but it's not really worth watching because they just reported only 300 people have signed up for that uh, category to, get, to have their temporary residency. 300. You know what? I could have told them that. All they had to do was ask. So yeah, it doesn't look like that's uh, it's, uh, very popular, which again, no surprise there. Uh, guys, it's late December, man. What is today, a Sunday? I don't know, December something, but I know it's late. And if, you, and if you're coming to Costa Rica on vacation this month and you haven't rented your car or got your hotels, you are in trouble because Costa Rica has made a serious rebound, man. And there's a lot of people already here. I know how many travel packages I have sold. I know how many of you have try, are, are renting cars from um, my guys. So the rental car, you might be, it might be a little bit higher priced, but I think you can still get a rental car from my guys right now, even late in the game. But if you haven't booked your hotels and stuff, might be in a little trouble. People are writing me, coming here in five days. Michael, can't wait to come. Can you help us out? <laughs> no, it's too late. Five days isn't enough time for us. Uh, oh, what, oh, the other announcement is yours truly is going to be doing a, a relocation retreat. It's a six-day event. That link is down below in the description. All the info, the prices, yours truly will be talking you out of <laughs> moving and living in Costa Rica. It's going to be a great time, though, a six-day six event. Uh, a lot of my friends are presenting. I'll be speaking. I'll be hanging out with you if you decide to go. Uh, there's some dates coming up in January, and I know there's some dates in March. And if you've seen this video like a long time in the future, in 2023 or 2024, still check it. Maybe I'm still doing them. There might be some new dates, all right? Now, before I get, um, before I get started on this uh if, if you're the exception to the rules, um, I've got a couple disclaimers and disqualifiers and things uh, you need to consider. First, when D'Angelo and I came to Costa Rica, we literally made every mistake you can make. I invested in a business. I trusted somebody that probably shouldn't have been trusted. And I bought a thousand square meters of land. Don't even I still have that land by the way. Don't know what's going on with it. But anyway, I have that land. So I made all the mistakes. I was literally back in those days, I was just like a simple minded, carefree, led around by the nose, hey Michael, let's go here. And I'll be like, okay, well, how much does that cost? I was I mean, we just again made every mistake in the uh, book is one of the reasons we started this channel. So I relate. I'm not cutting on anybody. I'm not uh, even being sarcastic because I did probably way more than you with mistakes you would ever do. Especially if you go on our relocation retreat. I'll tell you some things. I got hacks of the hacks. Uh, also, um, money changes all my answers. If you're a rich person or you've got never-ending money, it changes all the, all the things I'm about to say. I'm assuming I'm not talking to the Tom Brady's of the world. He, I don't, he never called me up. Him and Gis Gazelle, Giselle, whatever her name is, didn't, uh, didn't consult me. 
So people with money, this doesn't really apply to those uh, people. Okay, let's talk about what it, what it, what's that even mean, exceptions to the rule? What is a rule? <laughs> what's a rule? A rule is, the, is kind of the norm. In general, uh, the average, what usually occurs, the odds are that this thing will happen. That's what, in, in what reference to what I'm talking about, that's what the rule is defined as. Just the, the generalization of what normally happens in a given situation. Now, what's the exception? What's the exception mean? Exception is the outlier, right? They're the outliers. They're the, they're the exception. They're the one in a million. They're the lucky ones. I got lucky. Oh, he was lucky. Or, you know, you beat the odds. You beat the odds. That dude, he beat the odds. That's what the exception is. Now, the problem with this, the exception, <laughs> the exceptions give us all some sort of hope that we're going to be the exceptions. You know, you hear the stories. They did it. We can do it, you know, uh, but we don't know why they did it. But were they lucky or, you know, whatever the reasons is, we believe and trust me on this. Everybody, almost everybody does believe they're the exceptions to the rule, which is what we're going to get into here in a minute. Um, so, um, so really, the bottom line is exceptions fuck it up for all of us. Because we think we're the one, and we think we could be the exception. Gives us hope, but uh, it's usually not the case. We're almost, most of us are really never exceptions to a, to a rule, really. We are the, we, most of us are the average. We might be a little above average, we might be a little be below average, but we're usually in the average, ooh, let's say that word spectrum. I know that's a hot word right now, right? Spectrum of uh, average. Um, the thing, of, <laughs> the thing about exceptions and in this video included, I'm hoping, I'm hoping the, ex oh, I know what I wanted to tell you before I talk about that. Did you notice my new glasses? I, the only reason I remember is because I got those transitions and they're kind of, I guess it's a little bright out here and they're transitioning to, to shades. Uh, but anyway, I got new glasses. How you like them? I think they look better with, I don't like this. I mean, I guess I would like it if I was on my bike and stuff, but talking to you guys, I wish this wasn't happening. <laughs> Is there some sort of switch? Uh, now, I don't know anything about, I've been buying glasses down here for a while, but I normally go to a, a town an hour away that's a, more of a, a Tico town, and they're gonna be a little cheaper. So you guys can, you guys can tell me, these were uh, 200, 210, 210,000 colones, I think that's around, uh, quick math, quick math, approximation about $340 maybe. So I don't know, I got my exam, uh, these are brand new frames, uh, I wear progressives, I got the transition, and all. so for everything it was $341. Did I pay too much? I actually don't know. I don't know, maybe, maybe I got gringo priced. I've been here 17 years, I got gringo priced. All right, so my new glasses. I'm sorry that they're shading up. Can't see my eyes. Oh, okay, so what I was going to say is, you people that live here, and maybe you consider yourself the exceptions, what I want you to do is, after this video is over, I want you to comment. I want you to go, well, Michael, no, we, this thing, that thing you were talking about totally worked out for me. I don't know, you know, I, mean, I guess we were the exception. But if you would, could you please understand that, that you are the exceptions because I know most of you that let's say are exceptions to what I'm about to say could also say but I know 20 people that aren't <laughs> that weren't that it didn't work out and it worked out for me but it didn't work out for them so when you tell me your story about how I'm so wrong <coughs> excuse me <coughs> on the exception if you could please kind of asterisk it with yeah but I know a lot of people <laughs> that you know, the rule applied, the rule applied. Um, here's the fact. <clears throat> Almost no matter what you, um, no matter what happens or how you got to Costa Rica or how much you knew about Costa Rica, you've been here before, you hadn't been here before, maybe you did a lot of homework and research, uh, whatever. But when you get down here, the fact of the matter is, 
it is not a vacation and it will be a honeymoon period of transition. It's a honeymoon. That honeymoon period can last two years and more. Now, why does it last so long, Michael? Because you're distracted, you're doing things, you're busy, you're meeting new people, you're doing new things, you're equipping your rental house or you're buying this and you're doing that, you're looking for the car, you're, you know, everything's an adventure and a quest. You know, it's exciting. You know, oh, we never, when we were here before, we never went over here. So maybe you're, 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 uh, you're doing fun things, you know. So the honeymoon period can last a long time. And it's kind of, you know, a honeymoon period is just like why it's called the honeymoon period. There's a, there's a reason, you know, sex was a lot more frequent prior to, you know, after you've been married for five years. I know there's some, there's the exceptions out there, right? So you got to be very careful of the honeymoon period. And this is why I have come up with all the videos in the past of like the 10 command. One of my more popular videos is called, and I'll put this in the description, uh, the link to this for sure. 10 commandments for living in Costa Rica. All right. So that's why I literally usually say two years for just about every major decision you're going to make. Um, and so what are those? What are those? Don't get married. Don't marry a local man for at least a couple of years. Don't marry a local. And if you do, by the way, there are prenups down here and there's, I got those, I got the videos about how, you know, what to do, but uh, uh, don't marry. Why you got to get married? Why are you marrying a local? And you know, why is it that everybody over 55 that comes down here thinks all of a sudden they got, you know, great looking. All these Tikas love me. You, you think you've changed at all? No. They're a little lower on the ladder and you're a little higher and you know that's understandable so so don't think don't think you've changed all that i can't tell you how many people older get married to uh, the tikas down here and it normally ends bad so when you say on the comment michael I married the love of my life. We've been married for 50 years down here, Michael, so you're wrong. Well, could you please, again, asterisk that, yeah, but we know about 20 other dudes that did it, didn't work out. All right, so one is getting, uh, wait to get married. Residency, why do you think you need residency so fast? You don't even know if you're really gonna dig Costa Rica after a while. Two years is nothing in the scheme of things to be a perpetual tourist. Perpetual tourism can be fun. It can be fun. It's daunting. You're, you're, it's scary in the beginning, but now you can go up to Nicaragua, spend time there or don't spend time there. Go buy some rum, stay overnight, but you don't have to stay overnight. You're back here, you got 90 days. You do it four times a year for two years. And then you kind of go, yeah, maybe Costa Rica is right for me. You know, I'm gonna work, start working on my residency. But remember, with residency comes the Caja. So you're 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 getting immigration lawyers, getting uh, uh, lawyers or whatever. You're you're working on your reg uh, residency. That's money. Um, then when you when you get your residency card, you got to get the health insurance, and you're paying into that. And some of you younger people, again, you may not be here that long. You know, two just wait you got time to consider that yes there's exceptions to that as well as a rule though the rule part you don't need to come down here just i'm working on my residency why well hey i actually do know the answer to this it is because a lot of people are a little apprehensive about doing those border runs and the reason i know that is because i am i still when i was doing them I was always waiting for the other shoe to drop. I was waiting for like, Michael, we know what you're doing and we're good. I was always stressed going over. It was never, I never had a problem really in the 12, 13 years I did it. But in my mind, I was always stressed before we went, always. It was, man, you just feel, and <laughs> please, you guys that do this, when you get your 90 days and you're back in and you're walking and you're just like going, <gasps> yes, oh, yes. I, that's how I felt because I was always stressed going over, but it's not really, it's, you know, it's easy to do really. Most of it's here. So chill on the residency, chill two years, maybe more. I don't know. Um, the thing about investing in, in a business, 
This is a difficult one because this is what I did. And this, you know, this is very easy to do. You latch on to a, a person. It can be on the internet. Maybe you're not down here yet. Maybe you've moved down here. There's always somebody that's all of a sudden a cool Tico or a cool gringo friend. He's looking after you. He tells you where to buy things. He knows where to buy the car. He's got this. He's the go-to for that. He's very nice. He likes you. You're like, hey, man, all of a sudden you know his family maybe. His family comes over for Sunday and you're like digging all of them. Be very leery of that because this, this is a problem down here. And this is what happened to me. I thought the guy that ripped me off, we were friends. I didn't just hand him all this money to get ripped off. I had known him uh, for before we moved for a year. I spent time with his family. I helped. What was that hurricane that hit New Orleans really bad about 15 years ago? Whatever that one was, I went through and his uh, parents lived in Florida at the time and they were getting the revenants of all the weather. I put a tarp on their, helped him put a tarp on their uh, house as it was flooding. They were just, his parents were literally sitting there with just water dripping around. They did not know what to do. So I, my point is, you know, I thought we were friends. I, I really did. We were not. He was using me the whole time, literally the whole time. My fault, whatever. But... So you got to be careful of investing in and when somebody starts bringing up, let's do this, let's do that, because for some reason, they never seem to have the money as much, or they don't have, they don't have as much skin in the game. In the last three weeks, when I get together with my friends, you know, around, you know, D'Angelo and some other people, we go out, we're doing stuff, they start getting high or they're drinking, man, I, okay, what, just in the last couple of weeks, let's start a bar, we should start a bar. We could do it. Now, that's actually a decent idea. It's a pretty decent idea. I don't know if I'd start with those guys, but, you know, it's a good idea. Uh, a van. Travel Costa Rica now van shuttle service. But again, not just me with other friends being involved in it. Uh, a bar, a nightclub. And I can't tell you how many you, uh, people have ideas all the time here, all the time. And most Ticos will never bag on your idea. They'll never say that's stupid. <laughs> You should. What are you doing? That's dumb. They'll say yes to everything because they, they maybe they can be involved in it or help or, or be maybe their uncle can be the one that paints this or does that or their cousin can do the transport. They can do this and they can. I mean, they see that they can benefit from your uh, bad business idea or decision. I've seen this I, uh, just so many times. I can't even count. I could, I could just do video after video after video about fucked up story about people starting businesses. They had no clue of what they were doing. Or they'd, be, they'd, they'd start a business where they're catering to only Ticos. Well, most people know that any business catering solely to Ticos is not going to make a whole lot of money if that's what you're you know, looking to do is make money. So, I mean, if you're gonna invest in a business or do a business, please at least, if you do it prior to coming down here or you're talking to somebody, be very leery of that. If it's over the internet, you're not even down here yet. And if you're getting down here, I'm telling you, man, you better do serious homework and research if people are bringing up businesses and you're thinking, yeah, I should start, yeah, we should do that. Look into it, man. Look into it, don't do it, wait. It'll be there, it will be there wait and that's kind of what i was uh, tr uh trying to say this whole the biggest thing and what got us was you know these people that seem to like you seem to be helping you your new bestest of friends your bff you know be leery man be very very leery that's all I'm going to say. And you guys can say, Michael, you know, the guy that met me off the plane or I met on the internet, he's, he's still my friend today. Yeah, well, guess what? Every, every, every comment that I get that says, oh, Michael, no, I met a guy or I met this woman and blah, blah. I'll give you 20 bad stories about how that went wrong. And I'll start with my own. You know, again, remember, I was stupid. <laughs> I was stupid. So again, I'm not... And it's the easiest one to get caught up in because they are cool. They are nice. It's like my guy was great. He, he if you met him, well, he's dead now. <laughs> Too bad. It, if you met him, you would like him. 
you would like them. They're usually sociable. They're this, they're that. Uh, he was very deceptive. He was actually he lied. He was dishonest. But he was very personal. I liked him. He seemed to like me. We seemed to be caring about... Uh, but no, alas, no, he didn't help at all. He just was deceived. <laughs> so that's where all my um, two years comes in. So after the honeymoon is over, okay, the honeymoon's over, and you, you know when it's over because there's not as much to do. <laughs> There's not as much to do. There's, you don't got to run here and get the hardware for that. You don't got to varnish the new chair you bought, you know, your, your garden's planted or whatever. But then everyday life starts setting in. You know, it's like that spouse you married. You know, it just starts <laughs> setting in, you know, after a couple years of uh, honeymoon. So why do people leave between about two and four and a half, five years. Why is that? And that's why I think you should wait. I mean, there's the worst thing to do is you bought stuff, you invested in stuff, you amassed stuff, and then you're three years in, you're like, ah, Costa Rica's not for me. Ah, now look what you gotta do. You gotta try to sell this, you're doing this. What I, 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 if I decide to leave tomorrow, <laughs> give me 20 minutes. I can put it in a suitcase. Not saying you're going to do like, I, you know, that's me. So people think they've done their homework and research. But once, okay, the honeymoon is over. So it's not even, okay, what are the big things? The big reasons people say they leave. It could be health problems. That's big. It could be family issues or problems for people in the States or whatever. Uh, some can't, just aren't making the money they thought they would be able to uh, make down here. Um, Excuse me, it's too expensive. That's the big one. Oh, it's just it's so expensive. No, you just don't know what you're doing. Uh, another big one people don't like to talk about is when you come down as a couple, there's always one person that just isn't on, is on board as the other one. It's a couple. People think different. You're not by yourself, but if you're a couple, there's one that's maybe just not as gun ho about Costa Rica as you are. And, you know, maybe after a couple of years, they're like, that's enough of that. So that's kind of big. And the other one that people don't say, they never admit to, is boredom set in and they didn't know what to do with themselves. They promised themselves they were going to be busy, but they, they, they didn't do what they said they were going to do. And now they're maybe they're drinking more, they're doing this, they're doing that, and they're not doing any of the stuff. They're not writing the novel and they're not painting the picture and they're not volunteering at the you know local school. And it's too much, too much day, you know. So they gotta get back and get on that hamster wheel to feel like, you know, they're more busy or something. So and that's just the big things. But what people don't understand is the little annoying things that can be the reason you leave or in combination with the bigger things. What, do, you, do you like bugs and spiders? <laughs> are, you, are you one with the ants? Uh, the, 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 uh, what, are they, what do we call them? The, the real little ones that crawl all over your kitchen. You have to call the herd every now and then, but they're always, <laughs> always around. Um, uh, dogs barking all the time roosters uh, whatever they do crowing no they don't crow whatever the cockadoodle doing cockadoodle do doing all the time um, uh, the bureaucracy bureaucracy down here that makes no sense <laughs> you're like why are you even doing it like this it's annoying it's annoying so these are the annoying things uh, it could be the weather it could be you're a type a personality and you want what you want when you want it you think you know what you're doing you see why aren't people doing things your way you're telling people you should do it like this you're on your game and you're you're moving you're shaking that doesn't work down here and uh and you find out pretty quick it doesn't work uh so that could be a reason uh maybe you're a complainer and a whiner you know you're just complaining all the time and if you are a complainer and a whiner Trust me, not bagging on Costa Rica because I love Costa Rica, but there's, there's plenty to, to complain and whine about if, if you are of that ilk. I am not, but trust me, you could definitely find yourself complaining and whining a lot. Um, again, you've been too trusting of somebody and you've, you got ripped off, basically. 
all the reasons you came down got squelched by some bad investment, by some bad dealings, by some uh, bad actors in, in, in your life when you came down here. So that could be a, you know, a reason. Uh, a bad service, which is annoying. There's always bad service here. You, you, <laughs> your meals never consist. I, I mean, so those are just little annoying things that stack up. And if you combine these with health or family or not making enough money, blah, 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 then you're going back, which leads me back you don't got to invest and do all these things so quickly. Give it a couple years. But what I've been running into, man, I'm telling you, the last six months, everybody that I've met thinks they're the exception to these rules. Everybody. And I get it. I mean, I get it. So that's my point. So when is it? So let's say you buy the house, you, you get the car, which, you know, I understand the car, you know, uh, you invest, you, you uh, start a business. You're working on your residency. You're doing all the things that I kind of recommend maybe take a, you know, wait a second on. What if you leave in four years? Was it worth you getting all those things and attempting your residency? Is four years, well, Mike, I was here four years and, you know, we had to leave for whatever reason. It doesn't matter what the reason. Uh, six years, is it worth the, you know, the big house you bought? Is it worth the investment and in whatever you did with the business that you invested in? Is it is it worth, you know, the person you married? married eight years if you stayed in costa rica eight years was all that worth it maybe yes i personally don't think so to me it doesn't even make sense unless you plan on staying here for a pretty substantial time of your life i mean that's a you know major decision to, to move down here so again that's why i think a couple years grace period before you start just hand over fist investing buying land getting a house get, you know starting a big business or building something and all that uh you gotta you know be careful so because again you never you might leave uh, for no fault of your own it could be a health reason maybe you have to leave maybe it's something you have to leave because of your family you have to leave and that means leaving all this behind or trying to uh again sell it Uh, there's Dan interrupting my video. Uh, what else? He's, he's totally distracting me. Dan, I lost my place now. I got to start this whole video over. I've been working on it for 27 minutes. I'm just fucked it up because I drove in, really. Um, well, I'm half kidding, actually. Not really. I, I don't no, mind. Not I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm really making a video. No, no, I believe you. And you just, <laughs> just interrupted my video. I don't care, dude. Um, I'm, 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 I'm big joking. Actually, I went looking for you because I was hoping you had that guy's number. Wait, 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 wait. No, I, I want to finish the video. Oh, okay. <laughs> I want to finish. Actually, I am finished. So, guys, again, if you're thinking, you know, if, you're, if Costa Rica's on your radar, you're going to live here. When you get here, you don't have to do everything at once. Take a couple years, a year, year and a half. Get to know the lay of the land, all right? Get to know the people, the culture, what you're getting yourself into and all that and seeing if Costa Rica is right for you. And you also you could do, did I mention that I'm doing a relocation retreat? <laughs> anyway, guys, hope that was helpful. I'm Michael Allen, TravelCostaRicaNow.com. Things are going to pop up if you're thinking about living or traveling anywhere. Always do your homework and research. And if it's about Costa Rica, I'm going to put our videos up against anybody's. Anyway, guys, enjoy your Sunday. Peace.